not subscribers, General Tony here, coming back with a very entertaining for you here today, guys. So about six weeks ago, I done a video on this channel, which was one pecker, all healers and earthquake spells. Now, we got an absolutely insane response from you guys. You guys loved it. So today, I have decided to try something very similar, except this time, we're taking out that little pecker. We're taking that sexy girl out of the equation, and we are chucking in a max level golem. Now, we're going to be doing a single golem raid, guys. So it's going to be one golem, all healers, all earthquake spells. Of course, we do have maybe a rage spell there as well. We've got the healers maybe accompanying and of course a clan castle just in case we need some backup. We're then going to go in for two golem raids. So it's going to be two golems, all healers and earthquake spells. And then we have a final live raid to go in right at the end. Just before we get into that though, we are doing today's shout out. So today's shout out goes to Blue Rival. Now, if you want to check him out on Instagram, it is Blue Rival 96. So just check that out, guys, if you want to see some daily clash content. Now, if you want to win tomorrow's shout out, here is what we're going to do. Surprisingly, guys, not one person who's won a shout out has a YouTube channel yet. So if you have a YouTube channel, enter this, guys. You could get a shout out for your channel. So if we just go to the top, I believe it's at the top. We have our second Archer Tower upgrading to level 12. So all you need to do is guess in the comment section down below how many days and how many hours are left on this Archer Tower upgrade. Don't forget to leave me your YouTube channel you want to shout out for or your Instagram account. So here we go guys, going straight into the first raid, just gonna pause it really quick, just talk about the army, 13 healers, 1 sexy ass golem, we got the clan castle, the heroes, 3 poison spells, and of course a earthquake spells, you're about to see a fail straight away, by accident guys, just by sheer accident, I decided, well not decided, I done it by accident, I dropped 5 earthquake spells on the first lot, which means the second lot of walls only had 3 earthquake spells, which means they're not gonna go down, so pretty much failed straight away. So they have a clan castle, which is kind of off to the right-hand side of the base, which means I'm going to be dropping in a little sexy-ass wall breaker on the right-hand side just to see if they've got anything inside of there. So I dropped one little archer just before and then send in a couple of wall breakers. I love it, guys. I love it when I send in wall breakers and I just trigger as many big bombs as possible. I'm trying to cost this guy as much as possible. I know it's a bit of a dickhead move to do. But I love just costing people loads of loot when they come back to their bases and they have to redo all their bombs. So we are good for the attack on the left hand side. So you can see that mix level golem has gone in straight away. Gonna slowly drip and drab some of these healers in. We don't want them all going in straight at the same time, guys. They do have a few air defenses which are close by, so we're gonna try and take them out. Unfortunately, well fortunately, we drop the king up here at the top. He goes into the right column, guys. It looks like he's gonna go for the AD. And then he decides to go for the little gold collector on the right hand side, which means he's now not gonna go for their air defense. So the king's going on to the gold storage, dropped in the clan castle. I did drop it in. I didn't know there was a pecka inside of there. The pecka doesn't go for the air defense either. Fortunately, the wizard does. It's targeted my healers though, taking about a one or two of them down just before the actual air defense went down. So we got that golem going right in towards the center of the base. Now, as you're about to see, these healers, they're quite strange. It's pretty much perfect right now. So the golem's been healed, the queen's been healed, and the king's been healed. So our three main units, guys, our three main big boy units, the heroes and, of course, the golem are under heal, which means it looks like the, uh, the three star, the three star guys could be on the cards. Unfortunately, seconds later, the queen stopped getting healed, so then she started to go down in health. Now, I forgot to use her ability, and she gets taken out. I didn't even realize she was under the healer, so it didn't, I wasn't able to see how much health she had left. I used the king's ability in time, though. We're up to 41% so far. We're up to 43. And then, at this point, I just realized, I mean, the peck has gone down, the wizards are down, the, the healers are down. Well, most of them are down. How many have we got left? We've got about five or six of those healers left. Maybe a few more. I'm not 100% sure. Don't forget, guys, we did start with 13, so we have definitely lost a good amount of them. So they are getting targeted right now by two air defenses, or a single air defense and the Archer Tower. The King's ability has been used. He's not even getting healed, and now he's getting targeted by the Archer Tower. How this game works, I have no idea. So the Kings managed to break through that level 10 wall, guys. Level 9 wall, sorry. Managed to make it onto the cannon. Look at the percentage points. We're up to 47%. The 2-star was so close. I dropped a poison spell with a hope that we could get the 2-star, guys. Second poison spell has been dropped. Is it going to kill the cannon? Oh, are we going to get the miracle? Is the golem going to take out the cannon? Yes, he is. He takes us up to 48% and then the timer runs out. So, I heard you guys ordered a second raid. So let's just pause it once again. Take a quick look at the base. Once again, we're attacking a town hall 10 base this time. Fortunately, though, no Inferno Towers, just what I like to see. So I'm not sure if there's three Expos. Yes, there are. So this guy's actually built his Expo and leveled it up rather than getting the Inferno Tower. Quite strange, quite strange. I'm not quite sure why he would do this. Guys, you were about to see, hands down, the biggest fail you are ever going to see on YouTube. 
So what we're about to do is drop in all of our wall breakers. We had 10 wall breakers. We dropped in every single one of them to try and draw out that clan castle. Now I thought that was most of their troops drawn out. But you can pretty much see there is a load of little chicks inside of there. And a load of little guys, little barbarians coming out of that clan castle. So I tried to poison as many as possible. Because I have no other real units that are going to be able to draw them out. So I figured to myself, may as well drop in the last two wall breakers just to see how many more people are coming out of that CC. And it's just endless amount of them, guys. These, these bitches are flowing out of their clan castle. Why do I keep doing that? So I decided to drop the earthquake spells on the left hand side of the base, open one of the compartments, and then drop the second load of the earthquake spells pretty much in the same area. Now don't forget, we do have two golems this raid guys, it's not one, and we have a golem inside of our clan castle. It's only a level two golem, so it doesn't count. So all three golems have been dropped down, you can see those max ones have decided, one's gone with a level two, one's gone down the left hand side on its own. So the king and the queen have been dropped in now as well, dropped in quite a few of the healers, their clan castle, the rest of their CC is pouring out. The enemy queen, where is that bitch at? There she is, our king has taken her out, he's decided to lock onto the CC instead, when he was already hitting her, so I don't get how that works either, the king's just, it's just so stupid guys, the AI inside of this game. It's just pretty ridiculous. More troops coming out of their clan castle now. The king's going to go down shortly. We've dropped in the rest of our healers. And every single one of them has decided to target a golemite. What are you doing, you silly little bitches? They've decided to target a golemite, which isn't even doing anything. So the king's veered off to the right-hand side. The queen's gone up north as well. If you just take a look at the bottom right-hand side of the base, guys, we're only on 16, 17, 18% so far. And we've already lost so many of our troops. So the king did go down in the center of the base. I'm not sure what took him out. I believe it was the expo. Now the healers on the here, the, these two healers here, they're doing a very good job. Two healers keeping those two golems alive. Don't forget, one's a level five, one is a level two. The other healers on the left hand side, the last one is about to go down. Is she gonna make it away? Oh, she's done it. Did she do it? Yes, she did. Absolute boss. Okay, okay. So we're up to 26% so far. Now don't forget, there's only 45 seconds left in the raid. Are we going to be able to get 23% in 45 seconds? We're up to 30 now. The golems are doing some work. We need the golems to become golemites, really. Unfortunately, the enemy king comes. And now he's going to start doing some damage to the golems. So she's taken out the air defense. I realized at this point that her ability had to be used. We need to get as many troops on the map as possible to try and clean up some percentage points. So we're climbing, guys. We're climbing 38%. The golems, the golems are still in the center. Both of those healers, in fact, all three of the healers are still up and alive. So it looks like we may have actually been able to get the 50%. Unfortunately, there was only five seconds left in the raid. So we are about to lose 28 or 29 trophies. What did we lose? 29 trophies, a 42% loss. So I'll give it to you guys, I'll give it to you. Right now we're not doing too good. This doesn't seem to be going our way. We have basically lost, well we didn't lose the first raid, but we got a 48% 1 star. Wasn't really good against the Town Hall 9. Second raid we lost against a brand new Town Hall 10 really. There was no Inferno Towers. So now we are going to go in for a third raid, but we are going to change it up a little bit. Going to try and change it into our favour. So inside of there we have two golems, a level 4 P.E.K.K.A. in the CC, and one little sexy wizard. We got one of those boobies as well. Eight wall breakers this time, 11 healers. The two golems as I said this time we've opted for three rage spells one poison four earthquakes the king and the queen now we are going for a two star we may we may even take on inferno towers this seems like the perfect base to attack the only problem is that the clan castle can't really be drawn that easy so what we're gonna do is we're gonna drop in four wall breakers straight away maybe even five are we gonna go in with five we're gonna go in with four guys one two three four five actually five we dropped in five Hopefully we can draw out any sort of clan castle. Nothing inside of the CC it would appear. So let's go in for the attack on this base. One of the Inferno Towers is down which is absolutely perfect. The Queen and the King are on the outside of the base. Which means we can deal with them straight away. One of the Inferno Towers is down as I said. The actual air defences aren't too hard to grab the first two. The second two are quite far back. So all in all guys it shouldn't be too hard. Now we're going to drop some on the right hand side. Hopefully they can damage the air defence there as well. There we go. So the Earthquake Spells have been dropped down and they've done their little bit of damage. So we're going to go in with the Queen. We're going to drop in the King as well. We're going to go in with two healers there. We're going to kill those Larrys. Larrys, you must die. Larrys, die. We're going to drop two more healers there. One on the Golem. Sorry, two more on the Golem. And then we are going to go in with the actual Clan Castle. Where's the Clan Castle? Here we go. Here we go. Come on, go right in there. So we need that air defense to go down here. And then we are going to shortly send in the rest of the healers. Come on, Queen. Come on. There we go. Okay, so we're going to drop in the rest of the healers. There we go. 
So the king is going to get raged up. I'm not sure where he is. Oh, he's just up there taking out the enemy king. So our queen took out the enemy king and the enemy queen. Healers have been targeted. We need those rage spells down. Come on, take out that inferno tower. As soon as that is down, we may, we may be able to take out the town hall, guys. Those healers aren't really doing any, aren't really taking much damage from the inferno tower. All is going very well so far. We need that second air defense to go down on the right hand side of the base. Sorry, the left hand side. We're going to drop in those little wall breakers there. Hopefully the king can veer in, drop in some archers just to help him out. The town hall has already gone down. We're up to 42% already, guys. This is looking absolutely insane. All of our healers have been taken out. We're going to drop the rage spell right on the queen. Is she in it? Yes, she is. We're going to get both of those gold storages down. She's been targeted by those expos. We're going to use her special ability, a rage, and her royal cloak used at the exact same time has secured us the two star. So she's working on the expos, guys. She's got one of them down. The second one hasn't unfortunately gone down. The queen is the king. Sorry, not the queen. The king has just gone down on the left hand side of the base that archer tower and that air defense still haven't gone down but that is where the raid ends 54 percent we secured the two star and look at that loot 173,000 gold plus that loot bonus so there we have it guys in the third raid we did reign supreme we managed to get ourselves that two star we managed to get a shitload of gold as well it was an awesome raid and this is such a fun attack strategy to do i would advise all of you to try something like this out guys it really really makes you enjoy the game it's something completely different you've probably never seen it before so it's just enjoyable guys so don't forget, if you want to enter the 100,000 subscriber giveaway, all you have to do is click the first link in the description box down below. Download a minimum of $5 worth of apps from Cash Fraps. As soon as we hit 100k, I will announce the winners. Comment down below how long is left on my Archer Tower upgrade to win tomorrow's shoutout, guys. I will see you in a couple of hours' time for the second video of the day. I love you all. I hope you're having a great day so far. See you soon.